This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show episode 619. Booyaka, booyaka. We are live from the Sorotron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. 619 episodes of celebrating professional wrestling here on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, here. And uh, we got a hell of a crew. First of all, let's go way out to Johnstown, PA, Floodtown, USA. It is Bobby F. J. Town and his elaborate. A uh, group of wait, wait, oh, he's got a little Ray Mysterio. Yeah, a little uh, Ray. Ray. Kalisto. It's oh. Kalisto. I'm oh, sorry. come on! I don't, I don't uh, have any Ray Mysterio figures. Oh man, but you, it was you I know. Just what? But Ray you Mysterio held, Junior Junior. You held it up and it was out of focus, and you could you could have just said, "Yeah, here's my Ray Ray. I'm completely it's, prepared for it's this." It's Bigfoot Ray Ray. He's out of focus. Bigfoot. <laughs> for Kalisto, he looks built. That's yeah, a built yeah. Kalisto. That, that's Sinkara. That's Sinkara. <laughs> Sinkara. Yeah. Bobby, how you doing? I'm not doing too bad. Um, I'm excited because Ethan Page is coming for Super Indie. Yeah, he's, like, he's gonna yeah. go to Toy Hunt with me. He's mm-hmm. gonna go. He booked it on gonna Twitter. Be awesome. We did. And we he liked he liked the tweet. He liked the tweet, so I'm holding him to it. That's right. That's that. What's the just tweet? like just like how the Ray Rowe, contract. Ray Rowe also owns uh, uh, Mad Mike on this show a uh, a title shot. We don't know what title. But um, son of was, a bitch owes me a title shot he too. He owes. I think he owes Money you a bank. lot more. Over there, that's that's the that's the uh, mean the mad voice of of Larry. Hi, joining with us. The, How's the everyone doing? Mainstay from, on the show. Yes, Larry. a mainstay from uh, the basement from uh, Girthquake International Enterprises downstairs <laughs> here. Am I going to get an Esquire in the bowels of Girthquake uh, <laughs> Esquire? Keep it up, you might. Uh, how you doing, Larry? I'm good. I'm good. You yeah. know, I was. I was watching New Japan before I uh, put on SmackDown. Yeah, you're so really it, getting into the New Japan lately. I, I've decided it's it's a more accurate way for me to judge how much of Raw is tolerable. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Whenever there's a shitty segment on Raw, I'm going to just switch on New Japan and then switch it back whenever the shitty segment's over. And then at the end of Raw, I'm going to just tally up how many minutes I watched in New Japan and subtract it from the three hours of rock. I have often thought about there's enough devices in the studio and everything. Like instead of me just like, oh, I gotta catch up on XT and SmackDown yeah. and Ring of Honor, I should just 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 kick out a, a 90 minute block, put every iPad and iPhone in front of me, and just play everything at once. Your brain yeah. would melt. Just everything at once. Your brain would melt. I think I'd be ready to go, right? I would have a seizure. No, no I the commentary would make more sense, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It'd be weird hearing Jim Ross's voice on two different shows, though. That's true. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Toddy's with us as well from the Thrifty Podcast. Hey, everybody. How are you? And you brought a, yeah, a lot of friends. He brought his <laughs> friends. Everybody eats tonight. Yeah, oh. we got a whole crew. <laughs> we got a whole crew to see. Well, yeah, if you're on audio, we'll get a picture of this. But it is like almost every wrestle buddy I can think of. That's for sure. I feel yeah. like I walked in on an intervention. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I mean. Yes, and Larry, we're worried about you. Mm-hmm. Worried about me? You didn't see DDP's nose, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like how real Kane is in there too. <laughs> yeah, real Kane's in here. So yeah, I, I brought my. Uh, well, he's I, the mayor. He's allowed to. I brought about eighty percent of my wrestling buddy uh, collection this 80%? evening. There's more. There's more. Wow. Yeah, I left out like Hogan and Warrior because that's whatever. Because well, yeah, oh. Hogan's not allowed on TV for a while. Yeah, so he's not allowed <laughs> on your couch either. Um, but yeah, I got I got we the have whole fam. Here. Yeah, I got the whole fam here. I got Rey Mysterio up front. Um, just ra- dog. He's not allowed on the couch. Yeah, <laughs> he's worse than that. Um, he, he did. He did kind of break the rules that we. Hulk. He did break the language rules for this podcast. That he did. Way, so. He did. Is I he, can't hear if he's. No. Is he? Is he crying? This is Ray begging for his life on your show. <laughs> it sounds like they put a baby squeaky voice in there. Oh yeah, you have to. <laughs> You have to, um, but yeah, but there's also uh, the uh, Ray is. I have the blue Ray Mysterio wrestling mm-hmm. body. 
there's also green Rey Mysterio that's Ooh. it's hard to come by, especially oh, when you got thrifting. Yeah, you yeah. just find they what like you find. Nobody, like, nobody tosses that one, huh? Exclusives. Uh, John Cena, I think, is above one of my shoulders. Um, he mm-hmm. still has the dog hair on him that I found. <laughs> what, I found him. He had dog hair on him. Everybody else is clean. I, I never got the John. Mind. But he's back here, yeah, behind my shoulder. Yeah, but uh, this is who I hang out with in my in my, in my home. Um, this is who I share my space with. Um, but uh, it's always a party over there. Yeah, it's always a party. Do they it's pay always... rent? Um, I, I mean, <laughs> I wish, right? <laughs> uh, but but anyways, you do the thrifty podcast. Uh, let people know real quick what what the, what thrifty's about. Yeah, hey everybody, uh, to new audiences, I'm Toddy Tondera. I do the thrifty podcast, which is on Sorgatron Media as well. Um, mm-hmm. Thriftypodcast.com. Welcome to the network. Yeah, heck yeah, this has been. Not our first crossover show, but the first time I've been on one of your products. Mm-hmm. You've been on one of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I've been doing that now with uh, my buddy Josh, who's who's here in the studio today, and uh, a lot of other people too. Yeah, you, you brought the crew. Oh yeah, <laughs> the rest I always, of the podcast is here in the studio. Yeah, you, you got to bring the you got to bring the crew with you. You know, uh, roll at least a couple deep. You know, when you go to mm-hmm. different places, you <laughs> know, <laughs> fake it till you make it. Fake it, it till you make it's it. It's the it's the thrifty posse, if you will. Oh, for sure. Um, but yeah, what I do, um, I do a podcast on the network, and each week on the show, I bring some friends out thrifting with me. We gather a haul. Once we have a haul, we bring that back to my studio, and then we record an episode based on our findings. So it's a show that writes itself in a way, but it's also very stressful at times because I have to, whatever I find that day, I have to make a show about it. So sometimes I go on tangents about companies that are like a thousand years old, and I go down that rabbit hole. Sometimes we just talk talk about um, just stupid stuff. I mean, like you mentioned to the the Patreon listeners before, I, I found a pair of uh, soiled briefs, and that was something we talked about on the show. Did you buy them? No, okay. I <laughs> no, good, I would have good. never bought them. I would have liked a picture of it, but I found them a little bit too late in the in the game, and they were removed, unfortunately. No. But yeah, I, I found some like dead animals before, but they were just like mice and stuff like that. Not <laughs> really. Here's a here's one your your finds this animatronic witch that somebody made. Sarah made there the show. Go. There you go. Sarah made the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the the Whoa. the listeners who aren't watching live, uh, Sarah the Witch, who was on uh, a mainstay with Thrifty Podcasts when we did a live stream here in the studio, we brought Sarah along with it, and I got to see Sarah on the it's monitor. Like, there. like I feel like this picture is like your your Mister Rogers talking to King Friday picture <laughs> a, a little bit. Uh, like like when we talk about like the in the career of podcaster Toddy, I I, I yeah I, you know like I, it, it needs to be black and white and I appreciate <laughs> that the shot that I'm seeing right now is it looks like that I'm looking at Shawn Michaels package as well <laughs> yep and it's it's just like in between the witch. Um, myself is Shawn Michaels package. A little bit of monitor. Sasha Banks midriff in there too. Yeah, yeah they're and not then really it, framed very well. <laughs> that's yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's all good. And then to Neil Dashwood over my left shoulder, um, <laughs> and then my partner Kelsey's in that shot too. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's 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 sort of a good vibe. If you talk about thrifty podcasts, that's mm. sort of what we do. We find just garbage and uh make it into a show it's kind of i mean it's really relatable to what we do here on wrestling mayhem show yeah because we it. find re- in in the in the wrestling buddy collection that i brought with uh with me today all of these were secondhand finds mm. every single one i believe yeah every single would- one and i have more it's just yeah, some of the racist ones, the more racist ones i don't bring <laughs> around with me because you know not a lot on the couch yeah they're not a lot on the couch nope. Not a lot on the couch. Nope. Awesome. Can't teach an old Hogan new tricks. No, you can't. No, you can't. Well, this is this podcast is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Thank you to our buddy Basic Sickness at BasicSickness.com for our intro music for this and other shows on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Network. Uh, drop us that line to that email address. Good times. Good times at sorgatronmedia.com or 412-206-WMS0. Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Hit up the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook, where we're here live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Plus other things, like we're going to be at Jackson Argos, who similarly will take over the mm-hmm. couch, but with Canadian things, will be joining mm-hmm. us next Wednesday for a live podcast. Uh, Canadian so look Thanksgiving for, Part 2. Yes, yes, Canadian Thanksgiving Part 2. Looking forward to that. To that. I, I think we're, we're getting close to Boxing Day. Are we, we getting Boxing No, no, we, that's the that end of Christmas. Winter, winter, you're right. it, it may be Canadian He's, Independence Day soon. 
So did they have an Independence Day? I, they, yeah, yeah. It I was mean, like we a all night, do. According to Super Troopers, it was like 1983, yeah. though. Um, but anyways, uh, he's gonna win Super Indy. That that Canada Dries truck told me he was. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, uh, you can check it out and uh, subscribe to this show and others on uh, the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and the video version on the Facebook and YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check out we have finally po- finally posted the last of Dutter's um, dis- uh, talks with the Welterweight Wrestling roster from uh, Cleveland a couple of weeks ago. Uh, a lot of great guys, including Rory Gulak. We uh, asked her asked him uh, which is the better Gulak. Uh, he was wearing Drew's shirt, uh, by the way. Um, had a lot of fun with that. Ophidian from Chikara. Frightmare from Chikara. Uh, our, our friend Nick Lendl that uh, has been announcing with uh, just recently on War of the Wor- Worlds. Um, yeah, War of the Worlds. Yeah. Uh, this past weekend. He was up in Detroit when I was up in Michigan. I'm like, dude, you're down the mm-hmm. road. This is crazy. Uh, so a lot of fun conversations. Katie has a blast talking with uh tiny wrestlers in comparison to her uh so and also thank you our patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show thank you everybody that supports the show including at the fan of the show dollar level Bo diggity Woo! Woo! I, wa- I wasn't ready for that one I mean, yeah i wasn't ready it, 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 there's a little bit of, you get into the vibe right yeah i feel there's you. a little bit of a cadence that we have here i feel uh, you also ed burke tina keys bobby fj town i put the bill this month what you what? Uh, Carlos fitted the bill this month. Oh, Carlos fitted the bill this month. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Holy you. cow! There he is. <laughs> He's back. I and, borrowed, and the Matthew. Let him borrow a dollar. And the Matthew and Jennifer Carlos Foundation <laughs> for Podcast Betterment at the Pocky Club five dollar level. They get a little bit of extra content that we record here on Tuesdays. Uh, our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Christopher Bishop, uh, Heel Bradley, and Doc Remedy, and the Pizza Club ten dollar level. They get the state of the show. A little bit of a preview of things going on. Billy Johnson and J D Jones. And anybody, if you contribute just a dollar before the end of May, if you pledge that before the end of the May, there will be we'll be, be putting all of you guys in a hat. <laughs> Or in a wig that we can't we can't show on the show anymore, and uh, the winner will get this this gravity defying, uh, physics defying uh, skyscraper with Dwayne the Rock Johnson poster. Whoa. Look Whoa. at that impossible jump! I want to ask Zach Allen if he can do that with one leg, uh, because the he the could probably th- spout wings. He could probably throw the leg. He could probably throw the leg as a grappling hook. Like that'd be yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think he could do it. I think we should get Zach Allen to re- review that movie. Invisible jetpack. <laughs> but uh, I'll throw that out there. But uh, no. But that that is uh, our, our our freebie for this month. If you contribute, even just a dollar, we want. Uh, I mean, our our personal goal is just to even get one more Patreon for the month and expand. And uh, thank you everybody that has been adding on here. It's been fantastic the last couple of months that you guys do support the show uh, and, and find value in it. So uh, first of all, uh, we already talked about a little bit of uh, uh, Toddy's, Toddy's pals here sure, a little sure. bit. But I wanted to have, and I think it's appropriate that Bobby's on here, because Bobby's a bit of a collector too. Yeah, I hear that, a Bobby. I hear that. What are you so, collecting over there, bud? Uh, too much of everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> We, we are a little worried about uh, you. You should check out Bobby FJ Town on the uh, Instagram I, I, uh, to see his pops collection that he I has. I have 450 up. Funko Pops. Whoa, that's yeah, pretty cool. You can cool. see a little bit of behind me. Yeah, I see that. I see that. I, I mean, I know they had existed, but actually, I was with uh, who I do the show with, Josh. Um, we went to. Uh, we were trying to get that Mister Rogers Funko Pop. Yeah, I have that one. I. I understood that Funko Pops were a thing. I didn't mm-hmm. understand why they were cool until I saw about 30 different ones in a row. And boy, yeah. I get it. I get the whole thing. And it, like you can stack the boxes. Yeah. Like, yep. like here's my wrestling collection alone. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's really cool. You don't even the have... wrestling ones. Oh, they're out of the box. I see. So, yeah. so there's, there's the whole row of them. Man, I've been. I was so tempted to pick up some New Day ones when I was in one of those Toys R Uses. Uh, yeah, the, the New Day ones are Toys R Us exclusives. Yeah, yeah. So That's really cool. Cool. They're See, com- they look good together. That's the thing about Funko Pops. If you have one Funko Pop, it's like okay, cool. But if yeah. you like line them up like that, they look so they they look like they're, something. They're very shelfable. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. That's so. Yeah, you said it better than uh, I. My first one, I got I got a Ninja Turtle from Loot Crate. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I was like, and I was like. Well, this thing's dumb. 
<laughs> what the heck is this thing? And then 400 I, I saw, and some later. And then I saw, and then I saw like CM Punk and I'm like, well, maybe I'll just get the wrestling ones. And then it just grew from there. And it's like, I, I, I like I that can build you, a house out of them. I like that you saw a turtle and you're like, well, this ain't a wrestler. Yeah. And then you got a wrestler and you're like, well, it's a wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. Well, it, the, the Ninja Turtle came in loot crate though. So yeah. I was like, yeah. it like kind of forced me into collecting them, I guess. And it, and it do, do you do those crates? Do you do like uh, like wrestling crates to. or yeah, loot yeah. crates? Yeah, I, okay. I used to. Well, I used to we were like the old school loot crates. A lot of us here did them. Um, mm-hmm. That's like, every poor. every fun. So I'm in a different spot. Every Funko Pop I own, mm-hmm. somebody else gave them to me. Hmm. Either they were hmm. a loot crate, which technically I bought, but you know like, it was a mystery. Mm-hmm. Or now, like birthdays and Christmases, people give me like the wrestler ones, right? Okay, which is I'm cool with. But it's mm-hmm. one of those like I won't buy them myself because I don't want to gateway drug into them mm-hmm. like obviously oh, yeah. what, uh, like what's happened to bobby yeah you don't want to buy a pack of ci- <laughs> you don't want to buy a pack of cigarettes but if somebody already, like bums you one you'll exactly, smoke exactly yeah. exactly and I'm, by the I'm way already, don't smoke your funko pops Mm-mm. i'm already uh living under that bridge free base in those pops <laughs> <laughs> i just need my fix man yeah uh, just <laughs> but even but even eating the eating a spoon with uh Bobby, Cookie Monster Pop on it. Are, are you <laughs> counting down the days until the uh, um, Bullet, not the Bullet Club, the Young Bucks Funko Pops come out? I thought about pre-ordering them, mm-hmm. like on you know how they're having that deal, like sixty bucks for you get all of them, yeah, all yeah. four plus a pin and a shirt. Yeah. I was like, ah, I don't know. It's more fun to hunt them though. I get that. Do you have a them. favorite? Do you have a favorite? My favorite ones ugh. out of four hundred and fifty. Man. <laughs> I love them all equally. <laughs> one of my favorites is, is Lion-O from Thundercats. Okay, that's yeah. a good one. I like he looks but over his shoulder like the one will stick out of the <laughs> four. He, he's just making sure the other box. ones aren't listening. Well, I have his box, but I don't have his insert for the box. Mm-hmm. So he kind of just hanging out. Yeah. Um, Skeletor is another one of my favorites. Uh, oh, that's a good one. I have too many. I have Prince John from Robin Hood. Mm. That's a Groot. cartoon. Groot's my Disney favorite. One. I think it was. Yeah, I like Groot. I have, I have one Groot. Is it two Groots? Two Groots? <laughs> Three Groots? Ah, uh, two Groots. Oh, there's another one behind Kofi Kingston. There's another Groot. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, so, so, guys, guys. Toddy, I know, I know, I know. Uh, you, you, uh, you know. One, I was jealous because you found all the wrestling stuff when we were out the, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah, because I, I, I got to yeah, see the pro he was. Yeah, he pulls out one. It was like a Daniel Bryan or something. A Daniel nice. Bryan. Yeah, yeah. We were uh, at a Goodwill outlet, and for those of you not familiar with what a uh, Goodwill outlet is, it's it's um these items come out in big blue tubs. They're on wheels and uh, merchandise gets cycled through. So um, after it's out for so long, they pull it back, fill it up with new stuff and put it out. And so one of the changes that they were, they were doing at the time, um, it was filled with like stuffed animals. There was like some action figures here and there. So usually that's kind of a sign to me that there could be something cool in it. Because if you just see like a bunch of like plastic little things, easy to lose stuff in but i'm saying that in a good way because that means there's a lot of uh material in there because it's not just if you see one hulking box you're like well that's a box that what it, what's inside the box is what's inside but if there's a bunch of stuff that means people are going to miss stuff so when i was digging through yeah i found a daniel bryan i should have brought that with me but i found a daniel bryan and in sorg i think i told you mm. i was like hey keep looking in here because there's not going to be one wrestler. There's mm. not going to be one wrestler. There's going to be at least another one. We did yeah, find looking. one. I, I looked. I, I was I was definitely digging through a bit. But, oh, there we but, go. Yeah. Man, yeah. Here's, if you're on a video, there's, uh, there's shots on the Thrifty Podcast Facebook page. Uh, you guys have been doing some videos over there at mm-hmm. that outlet and everything. Thank you, Ryan, and, if you're watching. Ryan yes, Thompson. This is great. This. Yeah. And it, it is literally that. Just a pile of stuff. And you just mm-hmm. look for the gold in there. And hopefully not the poop. Yeah, uh, wear gloves, nope. guys. Wear mm-hmm. gloves. <laughs> mm-hmm. The help button. I went to three thrift thrift stores the other day in, in preparation one day? for this podcast. Oh, no kidding. Okay, yeah, what, went, what did you find? I went to two two Goodwills and a uh, Salvation Army. Mm-hmm. I didn't get anything. Yeah. My sister got like a candy jar. Okay, love <laughs> like candy. A big jar. Love candy. Yeah. Gotta yeah. have that. Awesome. So I didn't buy anything though. Candy is at least one meal of every day for me. Um, <laughs> that's like one. It's at one least. of the food groups. It's one of the six food groups. Um, yeah. Like a lot of times I'll just eat a bag of candy for dinner. 
um, and that'll be dinner for that day in particular. About uh, we're about like eight ounces eat. Like in, I'll I'll open an eight ounce bag of whatever gummy candy, and I will eat that in probably an hour. I do savers too. Lifesavers. As long as max. they're not sugar sugar free gummy bears. I mean, I will do those, but if Don't I'm not eat getting sugar free gummy bears, if I'm not getting <laughs> sugar, I gotta eat more. That like one of my favorite pastimes is reading the Amazon reviews for sugar free gummy, gummy bears. No kidding, yeah. I never got into that game. That oh seems my like a god, fun thing. it is um, it's incredible. <laughs> Speaking mm-hmm. of rat holes, uh, so so obviously, other than the wrestle buddies, what's the coolest wrestling thing that you found thrifting? Other than the wrestling buddies, um, I have a lot of cool like, uh, um some like early 90s um i have like a lot of vhs wrestling vhs tapes that's something that's really cool that i found um i have a roddy piper which is about a little um shorter than this ray mysterio but it's like made of hard (laughs) rubber and and this ray mysterio is like a smaller wrestle buddy yeah it's a smaller wrestle buddy um but yeah i i found that out there I mean, I found, I have, if you remember like the, the Bendems, the wrestling Bendems, mm-hmm. um, that were probably mid nineties to late nineties. I found like a whole collection of those. Oh, wow. I, I found a whole bag of old, um, LJ and rubber wrestlers. Ooh. And that's something that I found. Well, like, how was the condition on those guys? Most of them pretty good. I even found some doubles in there, but that was like one of the first episodes of Thrifty is when I busted those out. But nice. uh, yeah, all the classics <laughs> and, and some of the, the marketing stuff for Thrifty has those in there mm-hmm. because we were setting them up. But there's like the Nasty Boys, Ric Flair, Kevin Sullivan, Harlem Heat. Um, we I found see. we found some like interesting information that there was an African American Jimmy Hart that was made, and that's a rare thing. I don't have that one, but we're still on the lookout Do for. Do we know why that was made? Um, was it like a miss, like yeah, like they, a miss press or something? More or less, but the skin just came out far darker than it intended to be. So wow. then they just had it. So I don't have one of those, but that's something that you know if you're looking out there, it's but, like a unicorn. Pretty much the oh, yeah the black Jimmy Hart is kind of the unicorn of um, secondhand shopping at this point. But um, I say about overall probably sixty to seventy percent of everything I own is secondhand. Mm. Probably down to my <laughs> clothes because like why pay Jeez. for anything? Really? That's awesome. My my problem is I'm I'm too large to find things normally. You don't same mm. yeah yeah it, it's like if if you're not I, it feels like if you're not like okay with a large and lower. You don't mm-hmm. find a lot out there. Yeah, that's. I think that's that's kind of fair, and I think a lot of the times too, is and for that reason is a lot of people keep those clothes because mm-hmm. you know if if you know if you have a a more oh. traditional sense of a, of a body type, there's a lot more clothes out there because yep. people cycle through those. So Absolutely. If there's if you're even even if you're smaller, I'm saying even, you know, even down to giveaway smaller, t-shirts, but, man. Yeah, very smaller um, body types or uh, you know larger body types. It's harder to find stuff out there because people just don't donate that stuff mm-hmm. because they, you know, they need that second hand sausage casing. <laughs> 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 Yeah. anyways awesome well again if you guys want to go deeper with toddy you know go check sure. out the thrifty podcast mm-hmm. um it, it's an awesome we're show on facebook yeah i think yeah if you just go thrifty podcast type that in facebook just give us a like throw it in a message or something like that i'll probably respond awesome yeah and, and and tell us out there like what have you guys found interesting kind of wrestling thrifty things too uh as well and we'd love to hear that check us out on the uh facebook and the mayhem show uh twitter and i think thrifty podcast on twitter for you guys too right like yeah thrifty podcast yeah at, we'd love to share those yeah we're kind of new the twitter game uh, my partner in crime josh is is manning that but i'm kind of new to that so i was just actually today i was on there today adding people and stuff there's there's some like i i'm like good at the internet but there are parts of the internet that i just don't i'm just not in so like yeah there's some like deep reddit stuff i don't know about but i i have had a twitter account for like three years now and i've never opened it really he has yeah. people for that i, I, I have people who I just like their... that's their pastime is that they just post stuff on my twitter account i have one of the oldest <laughs> one of the oldest instagram accounts really yeah one of them <laughs> like in the first like i huh. forget what it was like in the first like couple thousand wow yeah oh that's cool yeah i mean I was also a first customer to Wendy's one time, but you don't see me bragging about it. But. You should. Oh. <laughs> I think everybody in the chat room is talking about their pop collections that, that range from 1 to 17 and awesome. what they're collecting. 
Uh, Alex Carter says he has a WWF, WWE figure labeled Batista, but it's clearly CM Punk. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's stuff <laughs> like that out there. There's stuff yeah. like that out well, there we too. We had we had one because we were obsessed with Mike Knox, and I think it was a Kelly Kelly that was labeled Mike Knox or something, <laughs> or Jeez. vice versa. I'm sorry, uh, Kelly. That we had. <laughs> so, That's sorry. It was it was something like that, or Eliza Burke, or something like that. Uh, um, so, Elijah I, Burke. Yeah, that's what's the I Pope up to? to? Uh, Is he still working? The last I knew he was announcing, but I think they worked him out of that. Yeah, an impact. Sorry, Bobby. I go went, ahead. I went. I went to a store called Direct Value Outlet. It it was like one of those junk stores that they just, you know, the, the people were retiring, so everything's like fifty percent off. I saw. I almost took a picture of the backpacks, but I didn't. There were so many Fantastic Four backpacks. The, mm. the the original Fantastic Four movie, not original, oh. but the, the, the and I'm like, what year am I in? Is that the one from the nineties? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no like not, the not from the nineties. It was from like the the, the, like the Ben Grimm. There, there was a uh, Fantastic Four in like ninety four. Yeah, no, out. it was like two thousand something. Not big that would have merchandise that I understand. Yeah, that, okay. but. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but I saw I saw a t- uh, Kitty Pride figure that was labeled Invisible Woman. Hmm. Mm. That, that and was... I got a WWE mystery mini that turned out to be Dusty Rhodes, which was kind of a cool nice. find. Nice. Oh, so, I've fun. actually gotten one of those before as well. I've gotten the mystery minis, and it's interesting because mine was Kevin Nash, but it's nice. in it's in the pose of Daniel Bryan. It's it's going like this, <laughs> like you know, with the with the yes chant. And That's cool. He, he's wearing <laughs> like uh, the Kevin Nash. It looks nothing like Kevin Nash. And he's wearing the gear that I would think that be most represented by this was probably what Cassius Ono wears these days, which is like a sort of like a top, basketball jersey, a basketball jersey with with trunks, though. And that's what Kevin Nash was wearing in this figure <laughs> as Daniel Bryan. And it's the same size as Daniel Bryan. And Kevin Nash in his life has never worn trunks in his life. Not even behind no. closed doors, they say. No, no. no. It has been cast. Wait. Is Kevin Nash a never nude? He could be. He huh. could, I, yeah. I got somebody who's not allowed on the couch. Oh, no, no, no. Put him away. He's not. Hogan's not allowed. Come on. It's a really goofy looking Hogan. Uh, anyways. Have, and how his arm is positioned? I got a Brie Bella one, too. And it looks like he has his arm around her when I put them next to each other. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, Hogan. She, he's, she's much too young. No, never mind. Never hey, mind. Brother. That's right. Uh, anyways, uh, no, thanks for a, a good chat about, uh, mm-hmm. you know, what you guys got out there. Um, it, it's fun, especially wrestling. I mean, so, so much is history and you can find that stuff out there. Uh, but anyways, I want to give a shout out to our friends at, uh, right up the road, another beach view original a slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. No, that's a Facebook page. There it is. Uh, right here. Uh, thanks to the guys out there. I love chatting wrestling with them when I, uh, stop in for our pizza to feed our guests here on the show. And they've been really great to us here in Beachview, the OG, the original, as well as down at PNC Park Home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. If you're going down for a game, please check them out. I know some of our friends are going down there this Sunday. I hope you guys are getting some slice. And let them know the mayhem sent you. And don't do anything with their doors. Um, and uh, also, thanks to our... Uh, oh, oh, and also, um, check them out in Carnegie, PA, and the East End for their other locations. Bomb chicken pizza. You ever yeah. get a chicken oh, pizza? The buffalo, buffalo chicken? chicken? The buffalo chicken, buffalo chicken pizza. Is the shit. Shit. Much respect to Slice for that yeah. product. Go check it out. Sliceonbroadway.com. PGH, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. So there's been a lot of really interesting news that doesn't have to anything to do with any professional promotion this week. Mm-hmm. The um, all-in pay-per-view, I pay-per-view officially, it's yep. going to be in Chicago. Um, it's going to have, uh, CM Punk is going to be, because there's a, there's a con around it. CM Punk is going to be there, uh, as part of, uh, pro wrestling tees. <laughs> there's a, there's a con involving CM Punk. Con. S- same building. Oh. He's not going to show up. He's not going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the con. But, but Cody Rhodes' dog is going to be there, guys. What? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. Is this a thing from the, uh, the, the, the being the elite show or something? Maybe. Yeah. Or his Twitter or something. Yeah, so Cody's so, dog's all in. It's <laughs> Cody's dog's all in. I love it. I love just the goofiness and the bear and 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 just the craziness that's happening with this. Mm-hmm. But the biggest news is they went on sale, and this is a ten thousand seat arena in Chicago. It is the Sears Center Arena, 
and uh, and it sold out all ten thousand tickets in less than an hour. I believe the official time was something like twenty nine minutes. Yeah, yeah. less than twenty. Like 29 I, I minutes? saw twenty three. Something. Yeah, like yeah, that. like to, like twenty some minutes. Like that is incredible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And First time anything's sold out in Sears. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Our series is closing. <laughs> well, whose isn't, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, when I see one that's open on the end of a mall, I'm just like, this can't be for real. You got to check it out, though, because you're just like, is oh, this yeah, real? Definitely. You got to get in there. It's yeah. like the Parkway Center Giant Eagle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. Have you ever have you seen it recently? I, it, it exists. Can, well, other than I, other I drove from down, over here when I, I go down the hill. I but. drove down there the other day, and they demolished the mall around Park around Giant Eagle. So yep. it's like the yep. side. It looks like the side of Giant Eagle is just missing. Sorry, super localized things for you guys not in Pittsburgh grocery but, store. But anyways, all in. Um, apparently the the everybody else is all in. I'm going to be busy with a 24 hour battle royal that weekend. Unfortunately, you're all so out. I'm all out you're on this one. It. But I'll be keeping an eye on it for sure. Um, but I mean, a hell of a list. I mean, uh, Kenny Omega, uh, um, uh, Cody Rhodes. I believe the Cody Rhodes is actually going to be vying for the NWA heavyweight title. I know yep. Lagana and and Billy Corgan uh, were involved with that announcement this past week. Uh, so I mean, this is Okada. Okada is going to be there. Okada is all in. A uh, friend of the show, Britt Baker, is going to be there. Flip uh, not not booked. What? Flip still not booked. Flip still not booked. <laughs> yeah. What is the flips not booked thing on the list? Because he he thinks the world is flat. Oh, yeah. okay. And there's been some I, I don't think that's the reason, but it should be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> so there's flat, some stuff about it. Yeah. Flat Earther Flip Kendrick. Uh, or Kendrick? No, Flip. That's a different Gor- guy. Flip, Flip, Gordon. Flip Gordon. Flip Gordon. Flip Kendrick's mm-hmm. another guy that up in Midwest. Mm-hmm. Um, who's, Ray's all in. Ray's all in. Oh, Ray is all the, in. This yeah. guy here. Happy his 9. episode. His episode, and he's all in. Yes, he is. You know. Yes, so he is. he's he'll be in there. I don't know. I think he's probably going to work Liger. I'm assuming um, because Ooh. they've been trying to get that going in a while. But his injuries. He's supposed to work back. with work him in Japan. Yeah, his in, but mm. Ray got hurt, so he couldn't. Oh. so I'm not saying that's a uh, confirmation, but I think that's the idea there. Mm-hmm. I know because I know Cody and uh, Ray worked Mania together a few years back. Well, not a few years, probably five years now. But um, so I'm assuming. Whoever then, yeah, whoever then WA champion is at that point. I mean, that's October. Um, but I was it's gonna be Billy Corrigan. Could be, and I was it could like, be Stephen Amell. Because I was thinking about who's <laughs> who Omega is gonna work. Because I thought maybe that's gonna be the cultivation of the feud there mm-hmm. with with Cody versus Kenny, and that's it. But if Cody's working NWA, I mean, does Omega go against Okada at this point? Yeah, I mean, but he's I been think. he's does that every four months. So it's tough to know to what really that card's going to be. But Okada is definitely the biggest surprise, at least to me, that's yeah. on the list. Because he's just, you there's can't no, rent out Okada. There's not, well, there's not many. Uh, <laughs> I wish Jap- he could for birthday parties. There's not many Japanese names on that card to begin mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. Let alone their heavyweight champion. Yeah. You know, Very like true. you don't see uh, like Losin Gobernat, Go- blah, 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 blah. Naito. Naito. Yeah. Yeah, he's not he's not Suzuki. in it. I'm a bone soldier. And Bone Soldier. Taja Ishi- Ishimori. Bone yeah, new, soldier. new Bone Soldier. I, I'm sorry for making fun of old Bone Bone Soldier. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well Taja Ishimori as Bone Soldier is about probably as good as what was left there because mm. they didn't know what they were gonna do with that character. So but Taja Ishimori, the only way I know him is via impact because he's like their guy on there so like he's i mean he could work he's pretty cool i don't know how he's gonna play into like he's joining the bullet club on the bullet club i mean you know rumor is they're not very fine right now but it it could also be that it could also be i always (laughs) thought that maybe that they might kick cody out as well they're Mm -hmm. gonna kick cody see without their um Without Cody and without Kenny, I think they may be fine. Mm-hmm. So they might just be like, well, if we get hey, rid of... Hey, you guys are the problem. And yeah. Because like Young Bucks could carry it at this point. Yeah, like I think maybe yeah. they're like, well, if we get the toxic people out of this relationship, we're actually mm-hmm. fine. So I think so, they might do that. So um, I, I want to go back, because I don't think we've talked about this aspect of this a lot on the show. Mm-hmm. But this whole all-in thing started from basically Dave Belzer being Dave Meltzer. Uh <laughs> 
And I'm having fun listening to some podcasts that tell me how much of a piece of shit Dave Meltzer is lately. Yeah. That, FDM. That's FDM. 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 Uh, but but it, it was this tweet, apparently. Um, the WWE guy underscore. Do you think ROH can sell out an arena with 10,000 fans, something like Madison Square Garden? He says, not anytime soon, which went to um cody rhodes saying i'll take that bet dave i already gave them their biggest buy rate put the bucks and i on the card in three months to promote uh cc ring of honor and and of course uh, uh, cody rhodes the, the the young bucks are self-promoting this yep. do not have the backing of a ring of honor and impact wrestling from my understand i think both offered yep and they turned it down here, and they turned it down and said no we want to do it ourselves we're doing it in Chicago. I mean, it is the hottest wrestling town, I think, in the in in the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the place to go, and 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 it's central. It's it makes sense. This is this is indie WrestleMania at this point. And if mm-hmm. they do ten thousand mm-hmm. here, that's what? in twenty three minutes too. Keep yeah. in mind, that's yeah. twenty three minutes. What if they had twenty thousand? What if yeah. they had thirty thousand? You know, yeah. what if they had uh, you know something bigger? You know, it, 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 they could have done a, a lot more. That's but. not even a half hour. No. And that was that many tickets. Yeah. So I think, well, I think at this point, Cody Rhodes is a brand. Mm-hmm. Rhodes is a brand. Mm-hmm. So like we were saying, like you mentioned his dog, like, you know, his, his, <laughs> his, his whole, it's his universe. It's yeah. Cody's universe is what people are buying into. So when you talk about like the, the vets being mad that like, you know, the new school kids don't do the psychology and yada, 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 it's no character work, yada, yada, yada. Look what Cody's doing. Mm -hmm. Cody has done whatever he wanted to do and he's succeeding at it. He's really the real life Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode just lives the gimmick and Cody Roode is it. He does what he wants. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of money. This is interesting. So there's a lot happening because King of Trios is also the same weekend. Yes. So, Mm -hmm. ooh. So all Ooh. those people aren't all in. Yeah, those people are all out and in trio. They're all Plus out. The yeah, giant yeah, there's a Rumble. lot happening. So like, there's all wow. Mm-hmm. I giant mean, battle royal. I, I I keep saying this, you know, uh, you know, going, uh, you know, I was busy this past weekend. There were some great things happening here with Impact Wrestling and and Rise Women's Wrestling, not the Rise that we usually talk about, and, and IWC doing a, a joint show and a taping for Twitch. <laughs> uh, you know, on top of other things that were happening in town, on top of other things coming to this town. Uh, namely black craft wrestling and, and super indie and, 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 you know, and seeing, seeing three shows running in an area and, and all having hot crowds like this, this is, it'll be hot. They'll be all hot too. Yeah. They'll be all in all hot. Mm -hmm. And, and to be honest, I don't think any of that's going to detract from a King of Trios or anything else that's going nope. on that weekend because not everybody's going to go to Chicago or get the eye pay per view. As mm-hmm. it is, how much wrestling is happening on the weekend that you can watch online, free or pay, and and everything seems you, to be if doing If you pay well. for it, you could basically watch it when you want. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you, they amazing. get it. That's the the convenience of modern day wrestling is in comparison to you know you even think five years ago, six years ago. I mean, mm. you could see the, the industry kind of shift. And it's cool that you could be like, if you throw some bucks at, at somebody, or even look at uh, somebody uh, like promotions like Wrestle Circus, mm-hmm. you could, I mean, you could tip the performers on the the website when they Twitch, mm-hmm. you could, you could mm-hmm. tip them there. So like, I think indie wrestling is as healthy as it's, it's been. I mean, it's a lot of opportunity and, 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 and you look at the, the ladies and it being, you know, profitable for them to, to work outside of the E or, or, as competitors. or niches like what we saw a few weeks ago at welterweight wrestling, uh, 185 and lower, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, those are, you know, Guys that, you know, while we're getting 205 Live, like these mm-hmm. are even smaller guys mm-hmm. that are getting a showcase, right? Um, and our friend Joe, 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 Joe Dobrowski behind that as well. So, I mean, that's really, really interesting. There's some call outs in there. A couple of people have said about all in two, if that's a thing, should, you know, hope it happens during rainy a weekend, maybe in New York City next year. I don't think they do that. Mm-mm. I mm. think, I mean, this is its own thing. Yeah. And I think you, you don't, I don't think this is a thing that needs to ride wrestlemania coattails like the other promotions mm-hmm. do not and that's not a slight against them i know what you're saying though it's yeah. its own entity it can yeah. be i mean i mean that they did this i think they'd do that because they would do bigger business instead of splitting the audience yep. because there is stuff that's going to split and alex is even pointing out that king of three king of trios at shakara is definitely a different audience i agree with you there's definitely there's going to be some crossover of wrestling fans but they're going to do just fine mm-hmm. i'm sure well, I think that's kind of like to speaking a little bit further what you're saying, Sorg. 
it's okay that this stuff is kind of happening and becoming its own entity because there's room for it because mm-hmm. people are watching it. So you could say, I'll watch Shakara this day, you know, I'll see this show this day. And that's something that's all profitable for all these individuals that they're actually working in the field and being successful and they don't have to be, you know, on top of WWE to do it. You got you know? a WWE network, you got Shakartopia, you got Honor Club, you got GWN when they're not stealing your credit card. Uh, <laughs> that is getting promoted on WWE Network now. Yeah. Wait, I just watched that today. Will you see the the um, the the Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, and Shane McMahon mm-hmm. uh, table of three? They were showing footage from AJ and Kurt. <laughs> the TNA and from TNA, mm-hmm. GWN was in the corner, and they said download the GWN app for more more footage. Uh, which I think is just a step towards just you're just they're just going to absorb that yeah. mm-hmm. at some point. Yeah. I, 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 it, it really feels. It like also it. could have been one of those things where they're like, "Well, we're going to try this out. We're going to say this and put it out there and see if there's any type of, mm. you know." And it could have been testing the. I think it's. A, I think it's Jeff Jarrett. Mm. I that think is. I, I, now, yeah. I think he's less involved involved but, and you talk about like the we were talking about the ownership of what what he has in the stake in the older part of the company and everything right yeah mm-hmm. and so and, and, and like and i think all that went to anthem and maybe he's got some piece of it or something still but i mean but he's it's definitely opened the relationship yeah. and the talks right yeah. mm-hmm. which is smart yeah because if anybody's going to benefit I mean, yeah, they've got them, but if anybody's going to benefit from an AJ Styles back catalog, WWE's going to be the best to do it. Yeah, right? I mean, so. it, it, Joe's over there. You know, there's some good Joe footage they're going to pick up. Um, so if they do absorb all that. Um, and, and and this is interesting. It's Tina saying it's great to see how the Indies are expanding their horizons in the areas that are not really hotbeds. I know she was saying about progress is coming out her way on the on the West Coast, mm-hmm. on the Northern West Coast. Um and uh and 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 it's it's none of these companies are angling like i feel impact trying to do to take on wwe mm-hmm. well that was their whole thing right and they tried to be they tried to take on wwe and in their own respect other companies do do that but they don't come with this braggadocious thing like we're going to we're going to do that folks we're Watch coming us. for well, you vince they're trying to be they were trying to take on wwe doing what wwe did exactly these other places aren't trying to be they're just like exactly you're exactly right they're televising wrestling yeah they're just saying here's our product and it doesn't have to be quote unquote better but here's it's different yeah Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. there's room there's room for all these promotions because they're all marketing their material differently so so impact when they try to go one-on-one with the e it's just like say it was you know it's all opinion based sure but say it was as good a product as the e you know, it's still going to be the same thing. So why would you switch a channel? You mm-hmm. know, you're, you're watching that already, you know? Exactly. So exactly. Unless you're Larry, who's going to be watching new Japan. And oh yeah. I'm dropping, I'm dropping my WWE network. Yeah, probably. Yeah, at the, yeah. at, probably after extreme rules. And I'm getting new Japan. You see a lay- <laughs> my, te- my 1099 is going elsewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to turn into the 999 yen. 999 yen. Yes. I are, you fa- are you just getting familiar with new Japan? In I've general? been watching it on yeah. access. Okay, uh, and, and, but, we, and we watch Wrestle Kingdom here. Yeah, so. my my problem my problem yeah. with Access though is they break up shows mm-hmm. into like five episodes, like five parts, five parts, and it's so it's like all the same show, but you're seeing like two matches per show. And mm-hmm. it's interesting that they're they're completely even though there's English announcers with Kevin Kelly and and uh, yeah Don Callis, Don Callis, they're still redoing it with. Jim Ross and uh, that MMA announcer, Josh think, Barnett. Right? Josh Carson. Barnett. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel, <laughs> I, I feel it, but I feel like it, I feel like it'd be more enjoyable to watch the entire show from beginning to end mm-hmm. instead of watching it in segmented pieces that are like not always in, See, like I, in order. You know I what like, I mean? I like Kevin Kelly and I like Don Callis as a team, but boy, they just smash kayfabe, huh? <laughs> they just use insider terms like they're the only ones who know the words. It's so like we all they know, know who's the... subscribing to this. If you're going, if you're we navigating a Japanese site and giving nine ninety nine yen on your PayPal, mm-hmm. and you're yeah. going to those, those we already know. You're like these are the smart fans at this point. This isn't a John Cena fan, except for Marcus Mann, that is subscribing to this thing. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, you know that they, they they know who's out there on the English feed. You know, versus the Japanese feed is maybe more casual a fan because they are the WWE out there. Mm-hmm. So. Well, we're going to talk about a lot of things, including uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about entrance music. 
a little cool, bit. Cool, We're cool. going to talk a little. I want to talk a little bit more about Ray Mysterio because it is Ray Mysterio Appreciation Day, of course. Ray Mysterio Day. It is episode six one nine of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Toddy's here from Thrifty. Mm-hmm. Larry, Bobby F J Town. I think you're still out there. I haven't heard from you yeah, for I'm a while. Here. Hey, what's up? And his and his menagerie of pops and friends. Ah! <laughs> more puppet stuff. Yes. Hashtag more puppet stuff coming back with you, to you after this. We'll be right back. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Zombie page. Zombie page. I got Zombie Page, Zombie it, Sasha Banks, and Monster Asuka. It's almost as pale as the real thing. So, the thing, do you want to hear the, the description on the back? Hmm. Okay, zom- zombified Paige. In life, Paige's alabaster skin helped her stand out from the rest of the divas. As a zombie, she looks right at home among the undead masses. Ow. Oh, that's interesting. And look how look how white this figure is. <laughs> like it's like, <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, Bobby of J Town, just like I, I love that zombie Paige oh. is in your in your reach there. At the uh, Bobby so Studio, Sasha's all the way over there, though. Studio J Town uh, out there Studio in Johnstown, PA. Uh, Larry is here in the studio. Yeah, just for fun, folks. You got you you got uh, that Ray Mysterio. I bought across the street. That I, I guess is that a ceramic? Maybe I'm gonna grip of it some up. Some sort. You're gonna you're gonna grip it up. Thotty from Thrifty Ooh. Podcast. Heavy. You like that? Yeah. It is, um, it is, you could definitely like. Um, um, oh yeah, I could murder anyone uh, <laughs> I've ever known with this. I could just. They, know, all, they also have like clubs. a. Mi- is they, it a piggy bank? Oh yeah. No, it no, yeah. is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's what that is in the back. Yeah, like that's where the money is supposed to go. There's bank. a slit in his back. Yeah, it's a coin bank, and then when you fill it up, you just grab it by the head and smash you know, it. Yeah. Take out one of your. There enemies. was a Mystigo as well. Oh uh, yeah, uh-huh. was over there for a cool. bit. You know the the proper Sankara before. Mm-hmm. So so appreciating Ray Mysterio here on this episode six one nine of there it is. There's the Ray. So if you're on video. I don't know if this is something probably that uh, unfortunately could be lost in the podcast, but would be cool for the live stream. I always like look on because I thrift a lot and, um, you know, I'm on eBay just to see prices and stuff. Have you ever seen the Ray Mysterio backpack before? No. Oh, my no. gosh. <laughs> Get ready for nightmares for the rest of your life. <laughs> on eBay, just look Ray Mysterio backpack. See what comes up. So I got a few of them on Google. Well, the one shaped like a triangle. Oh, no. Well, it's not these. It's not these. Oh, look at this. I, I know this is great podcasting. Oh, God. <laughs> the one that's his body? The one that's right, his, it's gonna, like yellow yeah. and blue? It's like... Yellow and blue. Yeah, yeah. It's the yellow and oh, blue one, that's for God. sure. Oh, no. What is this? He looks like... <laughs> he's so angry. He's, he's like flattened. Oh. And his, <laughs> his body is the backpack. And they he put looks, a plush head and kind of like... It looks like a Bob's Burger character. It, it, it does. Kind of, his, his feet it looks like they, they took the... Big hairy eyebrows. They took the feet from like a South Park <laughs> character, maybe. Um, he's got like little mittens going on there, oh, but they got all the yes, tattoos. I like, I don't think the Mexican tattoo on his, th- like, this is when Ray's been really <laughs> let go, right? Like, when did you Ooh, turn you into, uh, this is my backpack. <laughs> yeah. That's messed it's up. It's like, it's like if an ice cube put on clothes, <laughs> it's really just it's like, something. It's like if Ray Mysterio ate a tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. The, not the pizza. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Or he ate a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> All right. Well, there's that little bit. Happy but day, anyways, Ray. Happy we day. Got a, we got now. a big question here. Mm-hmm. Tina contributed. Thank you. So, uh, random thought of a uh, big question. What's the best entrance theme to sing to? Reason, it sparked because Marty Skrull is holding elite karaoke as part of the festivities surrounding the All In Weekend. Huh. Hmm. So, what is the most singable? Bludgeon Brothers. Bludgeon you Brothers. Stop that. No, shut your mouth. I know what he means, you though. Stop. I know what you mean. You know what I, res- it's I respect. It's like an earworm. It. it gets stuck in your head. Yeah. Oh, geez. I'm not a musician, so the best I can do is sing guitars or like <laughs> basses of just vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah, I know what you mean by that. Mm-hmm. Now, current, is that current? Uh, just I think all time, all yeah. time. You can do an all oh. time and a current if you'd like. Um, Austin, it's Steve Austin. Shh, 
Well, like the Disturbed version? You know, the H-Box version. The H-Box version. Oh, hell yeah! No, I'm kidding. Um, you know all the lyrics to Xbox theme? No. <laughs> Xbox! Xbox! Uh, do you remember the um, fake Rage the Against the Machine? Albert tag team? Oh, that yeah. Theme song. Which what one? Was their music? What was their music? Uncle uh, Cracker. Oh, no. It was oh, the X Factor stuff? Oh, X Factor. Yes, yeah. Like, oh, it was so, so bad. Messing with the X Factor. Something, something. And it was like chill, yeah, it was, bad it was like music. It was melodic, just gross song. Yeah. <laughs> it was just gross. Yeah, it didn't really fit. As Bobby much. Roode's is pretty catchy. Bobby Roode's. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Roode's. Yeah. Uh, Shinsuke's with the Japanese lyrics is pretty cool. Uh, for real, when I'm having a bad day and we're driving somewhere, uh, Missy cues up Bobby Roode's glorious theme music to cheer me up. <laughs> like, like, mm-hmm. uh, like once, once every other week. How about Nation point. of Domination? We, yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I it's only you. only the beginning. Like, yeah, that really pumps you up. Like, so there's the ones that like they yell something at the beginning, but that, then it's just music. But Will, still, William Regal's "He's a Man." He's a man. Yeah. I got so <laughs> mad. I'm watching an episode of Sunday Night Heat. It was right before Survivor Series Deadly Game, and they advertised a uh, real man, Stephen Regal, or whatever he was at the time, against X Pac, who I believe was the European champion at the time. Mm-hmm. Sure and was. before before Stephen Regal could come out or whatever he was named at the time, uh, uh, Undertaker comes out and choke slams X Pac for some reason because he's in a tournament. He he did like I did not music. get to see the real man. I'm sure he deserved that choke slam. I mean, I don't know what he did that day. I'm sure he deserved. I feel it. like they were going to film, and that my, was my uh, cat's a big fan of uh, <laughs> Finn Balor's music. Your cat is box. your she, cat is a fan of Finn Balor's music. Oh yeah, she'll do the the That's cat cool. will do the oh, arms yeah. up. Well, yeah, Dutters helps her, but she'll oh, do okay. it. I okay. do that out of the shower. I'll do that like when I get out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the towel you in there. Step up. Oh. Yeah, just th- throw it up and do the Dolph Ziggler <laughs> hair thing that he used to do. With the, uh, do the, some of that. That's just for me. That's just bits for me. I do just for me, just to get me through the day. When, when I was a small child, I wore out the WWF cassette that I had, listening and rewinding Tatanka's music over and over and over oh, again. Yeah, wow. what? Tatanka and Razor Ramones. Are, are you like- the two? Well, you got really you're like like really behind the cause for Native Americans or something, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I was. I still am. Oh. I mean Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. It's uh, their land, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. well, we, we went somewhere. <laughs> okay. I don't know where we went with that. But okay. it, I, I Damn white people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel you. Listen, we don't need to make up that right. much for Hulk Hogan's comments, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Hogan does though. Uh, yeah, Hogan Sorry, does. Brother. Absolutely. Sorry. Sorry, brother. <laughs> brother, 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 brother. Uh you're gonna pay, uh you're, you're gonna pay. What was You're the... gonna pay. hmm Is that what no? Wait, who was that? Wait, wait, well, she says you're gonna pay and Taker's American badass theme uh is a rarity. Mm. You're gonna pay. Oh, 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 yeah. The 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 like what he oh. got after the rolling. When he turned heel biker taker. Oh, uh, Big Evil or whatever they yeah, call Yeah, yeah, the Big Evil yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, those were good. Those Alistair were good. Blacks. Alistair, yes. Alistair Blacks. Well, music. that's just a song. Alex yeah. Cars. Yeah. <laughs> what, Alex Cars? Alistair Blacks one of my Alistair favorites. Blacks. Yeah. Yeah, Alistair Black's definitely one of my favorites. And I guess it I is mean, a theme song, but it's also just like a song that was made into a theme, sort of. Man, man, he like, wrote that. Alistair Black wrote that. Yeah, yeah, he worked I with did. them on that. That's, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um... They were talking about how uh, AJ Styles was meant for James Storm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Why there's like comments about this redneck and everything like that in there. Oh. Now mm-hmm. you think about it, because like, James Storm is, is he the the, the worst? <laughs> no, I, no, no, no. He just makes the <laughs> worst decisions. <laughs> made the worst mistakes of of, his, of a WWE career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he just had a not chance. That. He had a chance. Look at Eric just, Young. Jeez, he's gonna be on SmackDown soon. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Did you ever think that you're going to see Eric Young on SmackDown? Nope. No. I mean, that's crazy. It's we amazing. Can see, we can see Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles versus Eric Young on SmackDown. With yeah. the run in by Bobby Roode. I love the TNA and, chant yeah. when, when Samoa Joe came out to trash talk AJ Styles a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. That I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, Josh says uh, Big Boss Man's Cobb County, Georgia theme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a hard time. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I, I go ahead and throw a shout out for Dusty Rose, American Dream. Mm-hmm. I mean, geez, if that does not, not get bad. you freaking hyped, like I get yeah. chills when that when you hear the 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 the, the beginning of that. Friar Ferguson. CM Punk's Fire Burns, which was like, which was once Orton's theme for some random pay per view. Apparently, I didn't know mm-hmm. that. Um, <laughs> geez, they're they're coming in hot here, guys. I got to catch up with Good. this. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 I'd say do. Randy Orton, but I hate Randy Orton, so. Let's yes, you're a good man. That Bobby. theme song is, is good. Though. <laughs> yeah, there was a shout out for that in in one of Mad Mike's <laughs> lists here. The Sammy song "Woe" parts count. Says Dave, does does that count? Just the woe. Yeah. Well, I I'll guess wait. Nobody, I guess nobody said break break the walls, Jericho. Come yeah. on. How about that debut? How about that fire debut? That well, fire it. debut when he came out against the Rock. Mm-hmm. It was like a light switch. Yeah. You turn it on and the crowd was just nuts. That was I was a hundred percent Jericho at that point. Oh yeah, my favorite wrestler that, of all time. He was one that I watched in WCW and he came over. Just like yes, yeah. First wrestling T-shirt I bought at a wrestling show was my Jericho Holic T-shirt. Same. Hmm. Yep. Same. I'm trying yep. to think of mine now. Right here. I was oh, I was too oh, young. Yeah, to there he is. There he is. He's got the list and everything in that Whoa. pop. Look pop. at that. Yep. Uh, we got two two Jericho pops. He looks like a a waiter. That Funko Pop looks like Jericho yes. <laughs> as a waiter, like at an upscale waiter. Joint. Jericho, can I take your can I can I take your drink? Yeah, <laughs> so you can drink it in, man. Your drink uh, and of course, the American Dream, which I believe. Oh, somebody was just talking about this. I think it was probably uh, just a of man. Like like Real America was for somebody that was going to be the USA Express, the US mm-hmm. Express in WWE, and that never panned out. So like they they punted it to Hogan. I'd say that huh. worked out for the best. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, Shawn Michaels up there. That's another hot Shawn one. Shawn Michaels. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Are Sorry. we talking sensational Sherry Shawn Michaels version or Shawn Michaels both. version? Um, both. Yeah, I throw both in the mix. Same one. Same concept. Same sexy boy. Same thing. <laughs> same sexy boy. <laughs> same boy. Same boy. Same sexy. Mm-hmm. Different levels he's of still, sexy. He's still, not, he's still not our boy toy. No. He looks like Bill Cower these days. Wow. Shout out for... <laughs> He looks like Dean Malenko these days. You know who? What? You know who? With looks, his haircut. Uh, okay. What's right. nuts about Dean Malenko is Dean Malenko has like even at a, a younger age, you saw that he was starting to lose his hair up front, and you're like, well, that's going to be gone in another year or two. Nope, still to this day, what he keeps the- it. He he lost what he lost, and yeah. he keeps the rest. Yeah, he's <laughs> great. Love him. Alex says. Uh, Alex says, "What about sexy boy as sung by Vince?" Ooh. Oh, no, no, nothing that. as sung by Vince should ever be about, on this list. How about the one where all, back. where all the heel managers sang Land of a Thousand Lakes? I don't remember that either. That, was that back seems in the day. crazy. That's from, yeah, the, back in the, that's day. from the wrestling Stand album. Back. Yeah, I think Stand, Stand back. back might have been on that too. This is, I think, pre Pile Driver. So, um, um, Rob Van Dam? Rob Van Dam. Whole F and Show. Yeah. Yeah. EC Dub. Yeah. EC Dub. Yeah. Not that, not I will say, even though he's. Persona non grata. Um, Chris Benoit's theme from back yep. in the day. Yeah. That was a the great theme. Our Lady Peace one? Yeah. 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 Our Lady the... Peace did Chris Benoit's theme? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like it was uh, the... uh, uh, Also, yeah. Slow, yeah. slow yeah. Chemical, or maybe Slow Chemical is the one that they did with uh, no, Kane. No, it was, it, was, it was the Our Lady Peace. I bet Our Lady Peace is like, damn it, we did one theme. <laughs> <laughs> it was Chris Benoit's. <laughs> Breaking news, you can buy that Rey Mysterio backpack on eBay for $27.18. That's not a good tangent to get us away from the depressing stuff. With $17.66 shipping. Bobby, I want to see you with that next episode. I I might have to. I I want to to see you with it. It's the only only listing on eBay that is that one. Goodbye, Young Buck Pops. (laughs) (laughs) They're they're going to have to wait. Young Buck Buck Pops. The question, again, the question of what is the most singable... WWE theme song. I know we've gone on a lot of tangents Man, here. Man, rock. But I know. <laughs> Missy, Missy sends, uh, <laughs> sent me a YouTube link for Brian Kendrick's uh, theme song, uh, Man with a Plan, which I know. Some, I'm a man with a plan. Oh, yeah, whenever, yeah. It, it, like, a whenever like that phrase comes up naturally in conversation while we're out and about, like we just say to each other, Man with a plan. The show. <laughs> yeah. The show with uh, Joe. Was it? Oh. Joey Tribbiani. Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, uh, the show Man with a Plan. Man oh, with a Plan, yeah. Oh, that, that's it, right. It's called Man with a Plan. Mm-hmm. I really need to take this Rey Mysterio backpack off of this tab because I keep going to it and <laughs> creeping myself out. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, that'll be coming up. You'll be sleeping. You, you'll you'll be surprised what creeps in when dreams happen, man. That's gonna be one of them. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Ray Mysterio just haunting your dreams. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Ray Mysterio, let's appreciate Ray Mysterio for a moment. Sure. I was really able. So I got to see Ray I'm Mysterio in person a couple of a couple of weeks ago. Here, unfortunately, Ray Ray was not in a good mood at the show I was at. Wait, who's playing music? That's not I me. am. That's not that's not Ray Mysterio. That's Bart Gunn. That's Bart Gunn. No, it's Bart Gunn. No, you put that away. You, do, you will not <laughs> Bart Gunn. We are not. We're is, not reliving. Is that, is that brawl for all, Bart Gunn? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Jeez, that whole because mess. it's not country music. Hey, everybody, just fight your coworkers for real, and <laughs> that's all brawl for all was. Like, hey guys, you want to fight for real? Well, beat everyone up. Hey, let's tell everybody about Fight Club. That's um, a that's a healthy locker room right there. Just fight your coworkers. <laughs> that theme song has. 4.7 thousand like, oh, yeah. views. Oh, Thank a lot God. of people that searching was, for that bark gun. That was probably JBL's favorite thing WWE's ever done. I want to hear somebody. <laughs> His entrance music is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, JBL's here. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, uh, I like his newsroom entrance music. The guy, the guy climbs one mountain and he thinks he's everyone's boss. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Bermuda, Maggle. Mama Tawana, Mama Tawana. One, Tawana. one <laughs> mountain, and it wasn't even one of the top like big hitters. When you want to climb mountains, he didn't even pick one of the big hitters. He took one no one knew about. But it makes, it, mountain, yeah. makes it sound pretty. Yeah, big though, you know. Because nobody. Yeah, I'm a jog on Fox up. Business, I guess. Right. We'll fight um, you right now. Mm-hmm. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, let's get to Ray. <laughs> let's get to Ray. Uh, Ray Mysterio Appreciation Day. Of course, he's all in. He's you know just recently with IWC at Night of the Superstars. Mm-hmm. and everything um so uh i know he was one that that you know the cruise awaits with wcw stuck out for me back in the day i'm like who's this this tiny child in a wrestling mask uh that just got darted into a side of a a, a trailer mm-hmm. uh, by Shit, Kevin you Nash. can say that about the royal rumble this year <laughs> that's true too and he's in the greatest royal rumble this he year he was tiny compared to everyone oh yeah he's in there with like he braun was- Strowman. That's his he whole was wearing underoos too. That's his whole thing. No, not that Royal Rumble. The uh, the real Royal Rumble. He wasn't in there with Strowman. Oh, the real Royal Rumble. Yeah, not. I'm talking. He about... He was wearing underoos in the Greatest Royal Rumble, though. What do you mean underoos? Underwear on the outside of his trunks. They're that's all what, wearing underwear, Bobby. That's what we're here for. They're, They're all the wearing underwear, the man. Trunks, though. Yeah, they I, do that sometimes. Well, I, yeah, I, I do that too. Oscar does that. <laughs> She yeah, does. and it's fine. She Quail does. Man. She does. She's just like Uber, Uber Lita or something, right? He crossplayed as Quail Man. Yeah, I never oh thought God. about that. I'm not getting a serious Rey Mysterio conversation out of this at this point. I don't think he no. it's gone. Hmm. No. Sorry, Ray. Tonight's not Sorry, your night. Again, Ray. <laughs> I mean, he he's had some classics uh, classics with Psychosis, Juventud mm-hmm. Guerrero. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah. Dean Malenko, you know, mm-hmm. one of the best ever there. The big what, show. The big I'm show. I say one of the greatest. Wait, great match with uh, Ray, uh, Dean Malenko at Sturgis for uh, Road Wild. Road Wild, <laughs> the one of the weirdest pay per view yeah, events yeah. in Let's history. Yeah, let's watch a luchador and a technical wrestler mm-hmm. in front of bikers. Yeah, I bet they love that. It was. I, I always wanted to get that pay per view because it was. Well, one one of my dad was a biker and had been to Sturgis. Mm-hmm. And so it was kind of a cool, like, well, you've been here, and now imagine a wrestling ring here. And, like, just that weird mix. Yeah. And Rey Mysterio may be the one that stuck out the most, except for maybe Jay Leno. I would, how I grew up, oh, well, Jay, I, I, get me I had, uh, how I first got into um, collecting VHS tapes, there was, like, a huge gap. But when I was much younger, how I would see WWE, ECW pay-per-views and also WCW pay-per-views is because my dad knew this guy named George that he used to go to the bar with. George had pay-per-view. George would tape the pay-per-views on a VHS uh, tape. My dad had a friend named Milo that did the same thing for Milo us. and George, right. And <laughs> Milo and Otis and George. Pretty much. And they had the dogs with them too, the cats. But yep. they would. he would every... Every Monday after a pay-per-view, I would like rush home from the bus stop and I lived in a house that was like at the bottom of a hill. So I could see my mailbox from the top of the hill. So when I would get out of the, the, the bus, I would see if George dropped a tape off that Monday and he was hardly (laughs) ever late. But when I would get off that bus and I would see the tape in the mailbox, I knew that I had a pay-per-view to watch. So that night before... Before Raw and also before Nitro, I would get a whole pay-per-view in that was taped on a VHS tape, 
and I would watch that whole pay-per-view, and then I would watch, I would switch back and forth between um, WCW and WWE. <laughs> um, and that's also my first time seeing um, Species, the film, and that was my first sex scene I saw when that lady birthed an alien. <laughs> That was the first oh time I saw that on the end of one of George's tapes by accident. Because what it was, he would just type paper. He would just tape pay per views from this chunk to this chunk, and so there'd oh, sometimes George. there'd sometimes there'd be some filler. So I got to see a a woman give birth to an I alien. Looking, I was looking for the, at the chat room for a moment. How the fuck did I get here from Ray Mysterio? <laughs> oh no, big deal. It was just on my pay per view tapes. Um, George. <laughs> George no, 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 no! This is part for the course on 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 Matt Holes here. That, that, this is great. Yeah, right so, after the alien birthing segment, we should be just like, in conclusion, thank you, Ray Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I also saw. Uh, I mean, it doesn't hold that. Um, but I saw Usual Suspects on one of those tapes because cool. there was a uh, tape that was the pay per view was much shorter, so there was a movie at the end of that one that was Usual Suspects, and that was my favorite <laughs> movie for like ten years. Love that film. It's classic. Uh, it's a, you know, the whole thing. But fortunately, it doesn't hold up due to some circumstances here because he was gross <laughs> in the end of the day. But yeah, I did. I, did. I saw a lot of, lot of great movies on the back end or front end of those wrestling VHS tapes recorded. But yeah, Species 1, loved it. a lot today. Species 1, loved it, recommend it. I never thought I'd learn so much from a Rey, Mys- Rey Mysterio segment. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to do it's with his this. Ep- it's, it's his episode. It is. Yes, mm-hmm. this is all encompassing. This is all for you, Ray. It's mm-hmm. all for you, Ray Ray. We love you, Ray Ray. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, good to see you still out there. Um, Can we use the backpack picture as the picture for this week's episode? I think you have Take to. Note. I don't know. I the producer producer Missy nope. is shaking her head. We don't uh, want to do that to the rest of the internet. Oh. So. <laughs> what about the wrestle buddy? The wrestle buddies? I think I'm almost, right. almost we'll certainly. Ra- mm-hmm. get, get a good picture of that over there. So. Yeah. I've already um, got it ready to roll. Oh, there we nice. go. There nice. we go. All right, guys. I think it's that time. What did you learn from wrestling this week? It is week? not that time is, yet, oh, sir. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Uh-oh. I put it in the chat room hoping that it would oh, poke you, but apparently do, it didn't. Oh, we didn't do that thing. And we no, did. We hey, didn't that's, okay, thing. we need a shout out to our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, yeah. This month. This month at whatamaneuver.net, um, if you they, they're looking to break some sales records and support a great cause all at the same time, uh, they're donating a portion of the proceeds to the Asperger's and Autism Network. Uh, so if you catch anything from the Occupy Pro Wrestling section of What a Maneuver, and there's a lot of great stuff over there, of course. Uh, a lot of pro wrestlers and companies and par- podcasts are represented. Uh, but, of course, some great stuff from our friend Alice Cars with Occupy Pro wrestling, um, a lot of, lot of uh, your smart and legend of the Lucha Temple T-shirt is available there, and uh, as featured by the way on Lucha Underground season three, uh, in the front row balcony there. Uh, so uh, some great stuff from Alex Cars. Go check it out. What a maneuver.net. Look under the Occupy Pro Wrestling uh, collection there uh, under category or is it store. I think it's under store. Um, and uh, support a great cause again, supporting the uh, Asperger's and Autism Networks uh, with proceeds going to that. Thank you, uh, Occupy Pro Wrestling, for supporting the show. Make sure you support them back. So now, am I allowed to do the thing? I did, the thing. Did Please. you look at the chat room? I'm working on the chat room. Yeah, did, did you look at the I'm chat room? I'm working on the chat room. Uh, but you can, anyways, you can do the thing. <laughs> I think you could do the thing. Can I do the thing? Am I allowed to do the thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. I don't know. I'm, I'm making Alex angry, apparently. I don't know what I did. <laughs> you almost forgot his ad. I almost forgot his ad. Is that the thing? <laughs> yes. it's, it's been a weird episode. Uh, anyways, uh, what did we learn from wrestling this week? I learned um, that Raw and SmackDown are a lot more tolerable if you watch an hour of New Japan beforehand. <laughs> oh, so you need you need like a, <laughs> a I need a warm up cleanser. You need a, a warm up. Yeah. Okay, something that sets you sets the mood. Yeah. So you just turn Raw into a four hour thing. No. No. I still watch That's just as little. Yes. Raw, but I I think about the New Japan stuff while I'm watching it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch like subpar wrestling yeah but if you close your eyes you're like, <laughs> like i could see real wrestling like, i know what they're trying i, ju- I just watched will osprey just land on his head yeah <laughs> oh wait nope it's there's that's the b team 
I'm going to, I had another analogy for that that I'm not going to get into on this show because it's going to be another can of worms. Uh, but anyways, uh, Bobby of J-Town, what did you learn? I learned, I learned two things this week. Uh, one, I saw a uh, chiropractic business called Elias Chiropractic, and they're doing it wrong because their slogan is not uh, walk better with Elias. <laughs> Who wants to walk better with Elias, Elias Chiropractic? Got to email them. Email them yeah. that. They'll, they'll pick it up. Is and it- uh, oh, the, the second thing I learned, uh, Sunday night marks the return of everyone's favorite robot drama, not Westworld, Total <laughs> Bellas. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the Bellas. I'm talking about John Cena. <laughs> I was like, is there a Marvel movie coming up? <laughs> that already no, it's, uh, it's uh, Total Bellas. West, Westworld. Is Give us updates on that. Yeah. yeah, I've never watched those shows. Um, what I have learned, unfortunately, I guess Dalton Castle, ROH uh, champion, is uh, out with an injury. So that oh. could that could change some stuff here. That sucks. Yeah, that stinks. He, from what I understand, he has like a broken finger and hand. So there well, was he was some... he's wrestling with it. I know. Yeah, on this recent tour though, he was supposed to defend the title against Matt Taven, and he had come out and cut a promo saying that he's hurt, he can't work, so he has some oh. back issues. But yeah. I don't know that it's going to be that serious because he didn't. Uh, relinquish the title he just said that it couldn't work that's good um but i think roh has been putting out some really cool stuff and i've just been catching up on On that fire lately man yeah they're really even their show has been picking up and it's amazing to see in the uh the talents that they've been showcasing between you know friends of ours like facade just made the television program i think this week Mm -hmm. uh i know i need to get a bully ray kind of threw him around and call him a young boy oh oh, really (laughs) yep yeah, yeah, that's what he does. I was mad about there, that. Oh, yeah, representing Dude, the Peacock. Oh, no, no there you kidding. Go, there you go. We got yeah. a push friend of the show, Dalton Castle. Great shirt. Yep. Yes. Great shirt. Repping Dalton tonight. Cool. Um, I learned that Cody Rose does not reward bad behavior. Stay away from our event to Vince Russo, uh, which I <laughs> think. Great. I, 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 and I, and I, I commented on this. Uh, there was a, a bit of discussion on our board about it. Or the Wrestling Man Show Facebook group. Please join it and, and be part of the conversation here. Um, so Vin, Vin Russo had some tweet, and I think there's some more discussion that that led to this. Uh, the absolute fact that I am ready, willing, and able to appear at All In, while others are already attempting to do everything in their power to keep me from attending, tells you just about everything you need to know about me and them. To which Cody Rose responded, "We don't reward bad behavior. Stay away from our event." I made a comment. You know, I, I've seen. Um, there's some groups that we work with, um, uh, you know, that have been around, uh, that, that, uh, pride themselves on, um, keeping the poison out of the locker room and maybe mm-hmm. promotions. And obviously somebody like Cody Rose has seen this on different levels being from WWE all the way up to WWE and back and whatever indie shows he's at. And obviously the Cody's and the young bucks and, and everybody involved in that have a, you know, certain vibe of people they like to work with and, and, and don't have to deal with the crap they do within other companies. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, do their own thing. Yeah. So he's a, he's a, he's a, at this point, I think he's, he understands what he's doing with what I mentioned before. Like he's a brand, and the, and, you know, and he right. says, we don't need any of this garbage. We, we don't need the stuff you bring to the table, yep. which is bitching and moaning and complaining and, and whatever the case may be. Right. Just toxic stuff. He's yeah. just like, look, we got a good thing going. Like, yeah get away you know yeah. get away if you're not down to to do this just get away and we've seen that and and i think you know i don't know how much the fans notice on the other side of it mm-hmm. but the show becomes better when those things are not around yeah it seems yeah um that we we've seen firsthand from from the groups that we've worked with here in the area and and, and abroad so um i i think that's good and i hope more other that trickles company yeah trickles more other companies see that and say and I don't have to deal with this shit, yeah. you know, with certain uh, personalities. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I've seen that. I've seen like some ejected from certain companies uh, because of things going on, and uh, you know, and just blacklisted like, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. more, and more. And, well, I think with more and more talent having more and more exposure, and it's easier. Yeah, there's for, no lack of talent, right? And it's it, for women and men, you know, especially women with uh, the diversity that uh, you know the indies have of women right now, because it's a profitable business for them that less and less like if you have a shitty place to work 
they're going to get less and less people wanting to work with them because they're just like, well, I could go somewhere more healthy. So, you know, I think, you know, bad promoters, bad bookers and stuff like that over time is going to weed himself out. And, and I think we've seen, and again, over the years, we've seen on the indies, um, look at the guys on top, guys like Dalton, guys like Elias, mm-hmm. you know, guys like uh, Corey, um, guys that we've seen and we're always the nicest guys make it and go yeah. through and the guys that were shitty get stopped yeah right speaking of which can we talk about how big of a piece of shit jeff jarrett was on table for three <laughs> how about in general that was that was awkward yeah table for three fuck that dude <laughs> i mean yeah all right that's all i have to say about all right that. there you go yes i learned something this week what did you learn producer missy i learned about the slobber knockers the oh, slobber yeah. knockers. Did you guys see this? Tell us about the slobber knockers. I tried to pull up the video here. It's it's just in the chat room right there, so it's awesome. easy for you to link. Thank you. Um, so yeah, the Millville Music Festival is this weekend. I was pretty much behind a monitor for most of the the weekend doing some video stuff, but the slobber knockers. <laughs> they are a band that dresses in wrestling gears, so like they're in lucha masks, and their drummer is in a referee shirt, and they sing about wrestling, is- and it is the coolest thing ever. And it's like a, it's a, it's, a from them. it's like a punk band, right? Yeah, yeah, more so, or less. Yeah. Let me go see. Yeah, they sound pretty good from the little bit I even cool. just heard from this video. So, so check them out. This, this video is courtesy of uh, our friends at Punksburg. They were at the the festival taking some stuff and and circulating. So, yeah, no, they're amazing. They're awesome, and you should definitely check them out. Awesome. Go check them out. The Slobber Knockers. Did you know there's a John Cena backpack that's like that, too? Oh, oh my God, of Bobby. Of course there is. Oh, oh my is God. It weirder? Worse. Is it weirder? Is it weirder? Drop it on the chat room, and we'll we'll put it out there for the people. There you go. To I, have forgot, I forgot to mention. I have, a, I have a literal Rey Mysterio tattoo. Just thought of that now. I have Rey Mysterio tattooed on my arm. How about that? Blew it. Sorry, cool. guys. Sorry to the fans of <laughs> the show. And you had Rey Mysterio earrings as well. Yep. The, uh, the I, yeah. Li- yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot that I had tattooed Rey Mysterio actually on me, so I'm a bit of a fan. <laughs> I'm a bit of a fan. He's all a right, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's, I pass- forgot all it's about passable, that. I guess. So uh, mm-hmm. from the chat room, do, 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 going back through because we lost you and there's an eBay thing now that I'm trying to avoid for the moment. <laughs> My and Mike learned that Tommaso Ciampa is a fucking expert at Twitter. His Mother's Day <laughs> tweet. So good. it was like, you know, uh, uh, you know, appreciate uh, uh, Gargano's mother. Appreciate your day with your son, even though he's in a neck brace or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was just so dastardly. And amazing. I, it, it's on, on so the great. internet. Did you see when uh, the WWE Network tweeted at him to wish him a happy birthday? Yeah. He blocked them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> blocked the network. Jeez, that's oh, hilarious. Tina's saying, yo, yo, Jim Cornette even showed uh, Cody and the Bucks love. How rare is that? I almost brought them up as another case. Uh, I brought, brought him up as another case of, of negativity. Uh, Josh learned that Black Craft Wrestling is going to be burn Pittsburgh down with Britt Baker, PCO, Jimmy Havoc, and Johnny Blackcraft. Johnny Blackcraft. Johnny <laughs> Mundo. Johnny Impact is now Johnny Blackcraft when he comes here to Pittsburgh. Guys, you got to pay attention to this. This is going to be a, a great show. Um, I, I was I was chatting with some people and, and stuff they have planned. It's going to be something to watch out for. So I uh, hope we can get somebody to represent them here on the show and have a chat about that would this. Be cool. It is um, seeing somebody do this and uh, you know, I always appreciate somebody doing something, something different. Uh, they're coming from a different angle on wrestling. They're going to have it right in town here um, and a pretty cool venue from my understanding. I already too. got oh, my really. ticket. You got your ticket Doug, already. Doug Bradley, Doug Bradley um, from Hellraiser going to be an online and uh, not on uh, on screen character for them. Okay. Might be a GM. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Doug Bradley's part I of it. I didn't hear this yet. Oh yeah. Doug Bradley's going to be there. Um, but a lot of cool things. And the cool thing about John Morrison is he's probably a pretty, like you could marry John Morrison and he'll definitely take your name. <laughs> Like <laughs> he'll just change his last name on a dime. Johnny Johnny Impact, like, Johnny it, Mundo, it, Johnny Blackcraft. It's marketing genius, but probably not like the most you know identifiable. I'm wondering if he's like trademarking all of those. He's supposed to be on Survivor. I wonder if he's gonna change it to Johnny Survivor. Johnny Survivor. Johnny Survivor. Johnny Survivor. Because nobody nobody's doing that. Nobody's Johnny, doing Johnny that. Johnny Probst. Oh jeez. J- he'll just marry you. He'll Johnny marry Probst. you day one. Oh, oh my God. He needs to go to NXT and just call himself Johnny Wrestling. Johnny NXT. 
There you go. There you hey, go. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, Alex Kerr says he learned that indie promotions can strive for better than the, the 50 to 100 seat venues that they're the most they're stuck in. Aim higher indie wrestling. You go over 10,000 seat venue in a big city. I, there was a lot behind that. I, I'm, gonna say, I'm not going to say, um, you know, hey, if you have 100 people in your seats, you should go book a 10,000 seat arena. You know, but but still, like I think pushing more than what you have. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think there are some that are like, hey, th- you know, 200, 300 is like that's a good target, and we're doing great and maintain right. Rent um, the venues, man. That's yeah, what it comes yeah. down to. I think a lot of those uh, smaller style promotions, yeah, they don't have the opportunity to do that because. But know. when they're hitting those, like I know a few hitting the ceiling of their you know, what they can do at a venue, and they're mm-hmm. like, well, we gotta start looking because we're outgrowing yep. this. And that's a it's great good. problem to have. Mm-hmm. It's always great when you're putting more seats out, is, is what I, I say to a lot of these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, Mad Mike learned that Carmella listened to Bobby's tweets and gave him British par- paraphernalia. And I don't know what that. I don't know. I, it was on SmackDown oh. tonight. I, she I ha- she had a um, oh 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 the cab in the Carm- um, or, uh, what the hell was it? What, Bobby? The the cab in the uh, bo- phone booth. Phone booth. I bet. Okay. Because I, I I had a tweet on Monday night about I missed the phone booth in the ca- in the car and they brought back oh, they always the like, UK would come out with UK yeah. stuff they got a full they're, set they're there missing. now yeah yeah it's impressive they're so, gonna so. do UK shows soon I mean that's been the rumor oh yeah oh yeah forever, full but... on full on you're gonna see it in every damn region at this point car um, versus booth for takeover book it hey Sorg yes. we're gonna move things along hey guys thank you so much uh, wait, please... wait 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 can we plug in that other thing? Yeah, you need to plug that other thing. We mentioned a lot of our friends at IWC. Uh, of course, uh, Ray Mysterio featured on the latest night of the superstars that you can catch on video on demand and digital download on IndiaWrestling.us. A lot of our chats with uh, Waterweight Wrestling. You can catch the first two re- Waterweight Wrestlings as well as the uh, latest Premier Wrestling Elevation with a letter match with uh, the the Cogers and... Uh, um, and, and a bunch of other great guys on that show that I can't remember off the top of my head because I need more coffee. Uh, a lot of great stuff there. And of course, check out the indie wrestling.us Twitch stream. We have a lot of great free wrestling going on over there. And a lot of the indie mayhem shows, a lot of people popping in again, somebody tweeted me the other night about our Dave Lagana interview. Uh, so it's good to see a few new eyeballs over there on our Twitch stream. And of course, wrestling mayhem shows over, uh, being streamed over there on the, uh, Sorgatron media Twitch stream. And this month, uh, what was our deal this month? We have a bundle at IndieWrestling.us for... What is that price for that bundle? Producer Messi, that set up that bundle? The uh, Superstars and Legends bundle over there that has every available Night of the Legends and, and Night of the Superstars shows for the low, low price of only $40. That is... What is that? Six, seven, eight, nine. That's like at least 10 titles there over a, a, a good bit of the history, including some guys popping up in there like Elias as the former Logan Chulo in a tag match with Roddy Piper in his corner, tagging with Gold Dust. Wrap your head oh. around that. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot going on that's there. That's a lot. So go check all that out, IndieWrestling.us. Toddy, thanks for joining us. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Where can people find the podcast where you're doing the thrifting in that? Oh, my podcast, thriftypodcast.com. Um, we, uh, you could find us on Facebook, too. Um, people have been sending stuff in for Would You Buy It, which is a segment we've been running. Um, basically, you just throw in some stuff and ask us if we buy it. And usually I have a panel on the show these days. So I ask them about um, what items they would purchase. So hit us up there. Also, thriftypodcast at yahoo.com. Yes, I still use Yahoo. Send some emails to us about your thrift hauls, your pictures, anything like that. At Thrifty Podcast on Twitter. Hit us up there. But, um, yeah, listen to the show, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. There you go. Uh, Girthquake Enterprises. Larry. <laughs> yep. I'll be here tom- next week. Did that thing launch yet? Not yet. We're work- we got some bugs that we're working out. Okay. Uh, I, I know. You got you to gotta, you gotta work out the bugs in the Girthquake. Girthquake. Yep. And... Uh, you know, when you have something real for me to promote, I'll stop this bit. I know. And when I have <laughs> something real for you to promote, I'll never get it. Stop All right. Quick. I can't wait to talk about your yeah, next, next week. week. Next, next week. week. We're all waiting. We next unveil breath. the next Girthquake. Uh, Bobby FJ Town on the Twitters. What's up? Doing things. Living large. That's my gimmick, dude. 
Yeah, he already did that. <laughs> he just did that huh? seconds ago. <laughs> what? Live in large? Yes. Uh, more yes. or less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Okay, sure. <laughs> I got puppets. Oh, God. I got puppets. I got puppets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start bringing puppets to the show. How about that, Bobby? No, oh, I. Re- no. I did it. That's my thing. I brought puppets. You, I have a whole if crew. You build, if you build a pop wall. A what? A pop wall. If you build a pop wall. Yes. I'm coming for you. Earthquake. Oh. oh, I will. But it's gonna be like Mountain Dew and stuff. How about that? That's fine. All right. Different kind of pop wall. That, different kind yeah. of pop wall. It's a, yeah. That's a, that's what we in Johnstown call a soda wall. <laughs> Jeez. Hang up. Uh, I didn't click. And I will be uh I will be doing the Sorg World Tour this week. Uh you can catch me if you happen to be around Pittsburgh, Kansas, or Joplin, Missouri. What? If you know any good wrestling in those towns, please let me know or in with a reasonable other... distance. Sorg. Um, You're gonna have to shave your beard if you go there. I went to what? Shave your beard if you go to Pittsburgh, Kansas. I want to shave my beard because I go yeah, to Yeah, because it's like Bizarro World. Because there's no H on the Pittsburgh, and they like gorillas. Yeah. They like and gorillas and everybody, cars. Everybody that has a goatee is evil there. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> what? You should write yeah, that. Did you, you, did this you know how bizarre world work? It's, it's... That was, he saw that on Westworld. I mean, Total Bellas. Yes, Total Bellas. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're the same show these days, aren't they? Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. Um... <laughs> How many indie shows in Kansas are called? We're not in Kansas anymore. How, how many <laughs> jokes does indie wrestling per year? There's, there's no place like home. Yeah, like I bet it's just riddled with that type of highbrow stuff. He's on down the road. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I'll be out there. So if you're in the area, um, let's go get, I don't know, fried chicken or something is what they do. Uh no, seriously, it is. Yeah, it's good. Like, like fried, they're. It is like fried chicken Kansas capital, Pittsburgh? apparently. Mm-hmm. Ka- well, Pittsburgh, Missouri. Kansas. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> hot chi- no, no, hot chicken was in Nashville. That's I go Nashville. Yeah. I'm gonna go check that out again next year, and uh, hopefully, um, they put coleslaw and fries on their chicken. <laughs> Weird. Just That's weird not how it works, Bobby. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, the uh, uh, thrifty posse of wrestling buddies and your crew hanging out here in the studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was great mm-hmm. to have a studio audience here. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, chat room. Thank you, producer Missy. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.